Trinidad and Tobago's Prime Minister, Dr. Keith Rowley, says if a COVID vaccine is approved by the World Health Organization for children ages five and older, the government will be adding it to the list of vaccines required for children. Now, he made the announcement over the weekend ahead of vaccinated secondary school children returning to the classrooms on Monday. Trinidad and Tobago is among several Caribbean countries administering the WHO-approved Pfizer vaccine to children ages 12 and older. Prime Minister Rowley noted that good results have been shown in scientific circles regarding the treatment of children as young as the age of five. And his administration wants to get as many of the Twin Island Republic's youth vaccinated as possible. Once there is a vaccine that is available for this infection and it is sanctioned by the WHO, the government of Trinidad and Tobago will make efforts to get that vaccine for our children and such a vaccine will be added to the list of vaccines for children which we have grown up with because it is the same response. So let's get that clear from no, it's not going to be any um, we're not going to be putting any man on the moon with that. If it is not approved by WHO, we will not use it. If it is approved by WHO for children five and over, the same way we use the rubella vaccine, we use the mumps and measles vaccine, we will add this to the list and we will fight the COVID with it. So all those who are into conspiracy theories and all those who have an issue with the vaccine because they didn't like the weather in which it, in which it came to us and so on, the government policy is very clear. 